None of us will ever forget this day. Yet we go forward to defend freedom and all that is good and just in our world. 22 years ago today, an act of terror shocked the nation. We have a hijacked aircraft headed towards New York. A group of 19 hijackers coordinated the deadliest terror attack on U.S. soil. Two airplanes have crashed into the World Trade Center. Millions around the world watched in horror as the Twin Towers collapsed. People were actually jumping out of the windows. Today, the nation once again paused to remember those who lost their lives. As millions of Americans woke up on that fateful day, nobody knew that deadly attack would change the country forever. It started at 8.45 a.m. when a passenger plane flew into one World Trade Center. At 9.43 a.m., a third passenger jet crashed into the Pentagon. 184 people were killed. A fourth plane crashed into a remote field in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. Authorities say United Flight 93 was headed toward the U.S. Capitol when a group of passengers fought back and brought the plane down, killing everyone on board. This is a live look at New York City tonight, where millions of people spent the day reflecting on the lives of those who were killed. The survivors and family members of the victims still live with the aftermath of the attack decades later. Good evening, and thanks so much for joining us tonight for News Edge at 11. I'm Tom Haynes. I'm Christine Spiro. News Edge reporter Christopher King has the story of an exhibit at the CDC that opened at its museum today, displaying the long-lasting physical and mental health effects. We want to warn you, this story may be difficult to watch. It's been 22 years, but the physical and mental health effects of 9-11 still linger even to this day, even here in Georgia. Like so many people, you know, there are there are physical health and mental health impacts that I have felt. The Twin Towers are gone. The smoke and dust cleared. But Anthony Gardner still lives with the fallout of that infamous day, 9-11. My brother Harvey Joseph Gardner III was killed at the World Trade Center on September 11th. His brother Harvey was trapped on the 83rd floor of the North Tower. He was ripped from us and, and from our family. His family desperately tried to find Harvey in the days and weeks that followed. They had to come to terms. Harvey was gone. The compassion that he showed that day, the, the courage that he shows, showed in those really difficult moments, those horrific moments, inspire me every day. Gardner is one of thousands of family members still feeling the physical and mental health effects 22 years later. To think about all of the people who continue to be impacted by 9-11 um, as a result of their exposures to uh, some of the 9-11 um, dust and other materials. Gardner is also a public affairs specialist with the CDC's World Trade Center Health Program. The agency opened an exhibit Monday Monday at its David J. Center Museum, detailing the ailments survivors and victims' family members still live with. Trying to heal from this event is, is a lifelong process. The exhibit also tells survivors how they can get free treatment for conditions related to the attack. It's an invaluable educational tool to raise awareness across uh, the country. The CDC says they want people to come away with a feeling of hope. If you're living with the ailments from 9-11, or you know someone who is, we'll have a link to the CDC's World Trade Center Health Program on our website. Christopher King, Fox 5 News.